Hello everyone, welcome to new video from Expurge. In today's video, we shall understand what Python exactly is and why it is so popular. Thereafter, the features that Python has and where it is used in the industries. Finally, we can take a look at how to get started off with the Python basics and end our session with the career opportunities that Python holds for us. So, I hope all of you are clear with the agenda for today's session. Let's move ahead with the first topic for today. What is Python? Well, Python is a general purpose programming language which is high level, easy to learn and dynamically initialized. The development of Python started out as a hobby for its creator Guido Van Rossum because he wanted to make a language that was beautiful to look at and easy for everybody to read. To do this, he used indentations instead of curly braces to basically describe the blocks of court that came inside the language. The language went on, but did not receive love as it was slow compared to the other languages. Now, with the rise of machine learning and artificial intelligence, Python has come into the spotlight because it makes the work much more productive and much more easy. Why is that? Well, it is because of the amazing computing power that we have. We just won't work to be much more productive, even if it takes a lot of time. Let us move ahead and understand why Python is popular comparing it to the other languages. Python is the best language to get started off. Its easy syntax and high-level features make it one of the best language for anybody to get started off with programming. The next reason is that Python is an open-source language, meaning that it is free for anybody to use. Every day, there are thousands of programmers who come together online in making Python better and efficient. You modify the code, you break the code, and you make the code. You're allowed to do it without any problems. Moving ahead, Python can be used to make almost anything, GUI applications, web applications, mobile apps, server-side coding, artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms, anything that you want to make. Python will always have the way to do it. Lastly, there is a huge community of people who come together to make the libraries or modules that can be used to obtain your solutions. Just for an example, machine learning algorithms are already available and you can use them to obtain your solutions better. Your productivity right up there. Your code is much more or less. So, you can see why people around the world prefer Python so much. Features make a language attractive, and that is what Python is made up of. Features that make anybody want to start coding with it. Let us now see the different features that Python has installed for us. The most well-known feature of Python is its simplicity. Python has made programming fun because it is simple. It makes you think more for your solution rather than the syntax. The next important feature is that Python is an open source language, which means that it is free for anybody to use. Modifications to Python are also allowed without any problems which brings us to its next feature. Portability. Python supports portability, which means that you can write your code and share it with anybody that you want to, and it would work the same way as it does for you. When you run the court, this makes movements of projects and systems much more easier. Our next feature are the embedding properties. Chances are that certain languages may perform certain functions better than Python, but that does not stop you. As Python supposed, adding code of other languages into itself to run those functions, which makes Python all the more powerful. With that, let us move over to the next feature interpretation. Python is interpreted line by line, which means the management of memory and CPU and debugging of the code much more. If you wonder by now whether Python is the language to get started off with, let me tell you, that it is Python has a huge library support which will help you to obtain solutions to your problems easier. You can get started off with data science, web development on the go with Python. You may have had questions like how do developers make applications that are so well related to domain? That is because of object-oriented concepts. Python supports OOPs, 
meaning that you can model a real-world problem into your code and have security for it. Such that access to them is restricted, which helps you replicate real-world scenarios now that we know all the amazing features that Python has for us. Why don't we look at a few of the most well-known companies who use Python? Google is the most known tech giant who uses Python to provide better search features to its users. Dropbox is a cloud platform to save data online. Its client and server applications have been coded using Python. Netflix uses machine learning with Python to learn the taste of its users, cluster them into groups, and then recommend them shows to retain them for longer. The National Security Agency uses Python for cybersecurity analysis and for the encryption and decryption purposes. The BitTorrent application which is used for peer-to-peer -peer communication started out as a simple Python file. NASA scientists use Python to perform calculations which helps them reduce time and makes their work easier. So these are the major companies who use Python. As you may know, Python is a very important language, and it would definitely be beneficial if you start learning with. Now, you would wonder how do we get started off with learning Python? Let me help you with that. So to get started off with learning this amazing programming language, you would firstly need the basics which are variables, data types and operators which helps you to understand data and the different data types that you can use such as numeric lists, couples and so many more naming data and performing operations which can help you to obtain logic or simple additions or subtractions and so forth. Once you understand that, you can move ahead to understand arrays, which can be used to store data in a structured manner. Nextly, understand the flow control working and how you can manipulate it using loops such as the for loop and while loop and conditions which are the if-else statements. You can then study about how to make methods which are basically used to perform certain functions which can be as simple as adding numbers to performing the most complex of work that you can think of. Later, learn how files are handled, where you can read data from files and write data to the files. You can then learn about oops by understanding classes and objects and what their importance is. And finally, to master it all you need to practice Python as much as you can, because practice is what makes you better at it. Once you are done understanding the basics, what do you do? You mastered it. There are a variety of careers that are at your disposal. Stick to the one that you feel is your goal and start mastering it which brings us to the career opportunities that Python holds for us. Web development is an option that you can choose. You have frameworks such as Django and Flowers that can be used to create web applications. Game development is also a career option that is available where you can create AI enemies and bosses and graphic textures accordingly. Big data analysis is a booming field which can be used to obtain data helpful to make decisions and help take risks for better profits. Web app testing is also an option where you can report bugs and make sure that the website works as needed. Data scientists, machine learning engineer, artificial intelligence are some of the fields that everybody wants to get into. And it is clearly one of the jobs that looks like it would have a long life cycle. Smart IoT devices are another place where you can use Python and build better infrastructure for connecting the world. So, those are some of the most well-known career opportunities that Python has for you. There are many more, such as a software developer, automation engineer and much more. So now, I hope all of you know what Biden is and why everybody loves it so much. I hope all of you would consider learning Python because it is just fun to learn and easy to program with. If you like this video, then give it a like. Share this video if you find out this video useful. If you think that if something is missing in this video, or you want us to cover some other content related to programming languages, technology or anything. Then do comment down. We will work on that, and don't forget to visit to our playlist section. You will find some interesting content there. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.